Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as Rome. And we are just about to found our religion of obviously Roman Catholicism. Well, not really much of a surprise. So what we're going to do is we want happiness and happiness. So uh, there is this thing called temp Oh, plus two happiness from temples. So I don't know if this actually applies to my replacement temple. If it doesn't, I'm just gonna hate this so much. Well, let's give it a try. Found religion. Yes. And did it actually work? How many followers do I have? Can I actually check it very easily somehow? Uh, six followers. And this makes temple... Provide three happiness. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so if I spread this religion somehow... And I'm not entirely sure how to spread it right now, because I ah, I forgot completely. I mean, I could recruit missionaries and stuff. Then I'm gonna get a lot of happiness, and happiness is the key. So I get happiness for every two cities following the religion, which is right now none of them, because I have one only one of them. And temples provide happiness when there's like five or more followers. And right now there's gonna be zero, 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 so it's gonna take a while, but long term that's gonna give me decent amount of extra happiness and I need this happiness right now because I'm about to find an extra city which is gonna cost me like about six just five that's surprising and you're gonna produce an exactly a temple because I want temples everywhere before even anything else and yeah you need to connect this Bird. I guess it's fine. I kind of want this unit somewhere near Kume, in case Japan attacks. I think attack from Japan is much more likely than attack from Ethiopia. Like, it's all possible. I mean, it's not crazy. Uh, let's withdraw. It feels like this is pretty much the limit of my expansion. And I am going to move you here. Yeah, this is pretty much the limit of my expansion. I don't plan to settle anything anymore. I will connect this by road, like maybe a bit to the east, so it doesn't... Or maybe then to the west. Actually, like a road like that is very aggressive, but it's gonna be fine. Yeah, I think I should just start an aggressive road in case I want to attack Osaka. Because it has double T. Possibly triple T. No, this T I think is coming for Kyoto. I could uh, get Kyoto at some point. So, I mean, War of Japan is gonna happen sooner or later. Like, that's kinda inevitable. I feel the same with War of Shoshone. Like, Ethiopia, maybe not. They have all the wonders, but they are, like, here. So this city is kinda forward settled for them, and this city is kinda forward settled for me, so... And Japan is gonna tell you, why do you settle so many cities? What are you doing? And I will tell you, okay, I'm done. I settled all I wanted. Oh, and now we can have a Oracle, unless somebody just, like, steals it now. Oh yeah! Free social policy, let's get a free social policy. And that's gonna be science from Colosseums and Circuses, and some extra production from a lot of stuff. So, extra production. So what does it actually mean? Okay, uh, it doesn't show on the tooltip. But I'm pretty sure this wasn't a two production tile. That's okay. That's all okay. And soon I'm gonna get my extra tenant and probably gonna open patronage. Unless somehow I get to next era fast enough. Can I get to next era fast enough? I could get guilds in eight turns and this is going to be four turns. No, I think I should just open Patronage and just do it this way. So guilds are going to give me Machu Picchu, Trading Post... None of that actually matters all that much. Theology gives me... Grand Temple. Uh, great, free Great Prophet. I don't think I care about any of this stuff all that much. I would care about Machinery. That is uh, Eki production, defensive treaties, 
Castle Knight, Pikeman. Extra food, of, oh, of course, let's get extra food then. Um, that's gonna be a lot of extra stuff. Okay, Antium. So, I could get stables. This is a small problem is that uh, deer, bananas. You don't actually get any extra bonuses. That's okay. Let's not worry about this. So, uh, I can build one of those. I could also build like Aqueduct and Colosseum. Aqueduct, Colosseum, Forum. Actually, I don't have much money here. Let's default focus everybody. Okay, um, I don't like super need this guy. The rest I just like don't have even all that much production in invested in this guy. So that's fine. Five turns. Four turns. Is that going to work even if I... I'm not sure actually. Okay, let's just try to production focus them for now. So I'm not sure if, if it finishes the same turn, if it still counts. Okay, I thought they're gonna denounce me or something. For some reason it didn't. I mean, it's not like I'm complaining that I wasn't denounced, but... Slightly surprising. Okay, so I could start building a road. Then again, like... No, it's really important from military point of view. So I can build a farm and then I can start working on the road. Okay, that's fine. That's exactly what I expected. <laughs> it's kind of weird, like, why did, why aren't you denouncing me? Uh, Alright. We are Kume and... I guess you could build a granar, you have like a deer. I could build shrines and just... Are the shrines actually doing anything useful? Like, are the shrines spreading my fate? I don't think shrines are spreading anything. Like, there should be something on the tooltip. Okay, this is the pressure plus 30. Like, I'm not seeing anything about the pressure. Uh, I could buy... Wait, where can I fate buy something? 200 for a missionary. Yeah, I guess I could just get a missionary. Is it like a single use? Is it a double use? I don't remember any of this stuff. Like, nothing. Oh, nice. Somebody got captured. Okay, so three of those, I guess... Four composites would be like a minimum. To not feel embarrassed about this. Far away lands, okay, no idea what it is. Other than being far away, maybe in China. Who knows? Oh, that guy finally coming home. Oops, that's kinda close. Uh, sold for money to Shaka. Do I have like excess, massive excess of salt? Who would like to buy my salt? Uh, nope. Would you like to buy my iron? Okay. Uh, who would like to buy my salt? Like, like, let's ask again. Japan has tea. Uh, Alexander, maybe. Oh, yeah, we have salt. Okay. Oh, God damn it! This interface is so hard. Uh, embassy for salt and for. Okay. Oh, this was my last salt? God damn it, why did I never actually tell that? Uh, two extra happiness added per luxury resource for total. I don't understand that. Why? This interface is just so bad. Oh, I guess this tooltip is bad because... Um, when you are in the middle of a turn and something happened, this tooltip gets confused. I think this is what was happening. So, can I get one more salt maybe somewhere, please? Like, where am I exporting all this salt? 
No, I have two souls. What the hell then? I, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Maybe I never knew. Oh, wow. I didn't know the natural wonders in this um, on this map. Okay. Not arguing against it. Just a bit surprised. Okay, three more turns and then we get something. So everybody building temples, that's good. Uh, pyramids. What the... Oh! Two of those bastards. At once. Okay. Okay, this is kind of bad. <laughs> okay, somebody's friendly with me. That's good. And, okay, policy. Let's get for... I could go for honor, or I could go for patronage, because I don't think this makes any sense. Something in capital... Culture from shrines. Actually, culture from shrines is not totally garbage. And... Uh, Forbidden Palace, I think this is amazing, unless the mods change something. Culture for excess happiness, <laughs> like I ever have excess happiness. Nah, that's bullshit. This is not for the players, it's for AI. Great artists, golden ages, it's just all for the AI. So I could go for honor. And... That's not actually that amazing. That's culture for every unit killed. Or I could do that, and this is gonna help me with my late game. Okay. So. I need to somehow... Okay, let's see exactly who attacked me. Cape Town. What's the Cape Town? Okay, Cape Town is here, so I don't think it's very much of a risk. Hong Kong, yeah, they hate me already, so, well, boohoo. Uh, Malacca's gonna like me for a while. It's not like a big deal. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this. If there's anything good here. Liberate, uh, it's not gonna happen. No, I don't think I gonna go there. Uh, what's here? Four units of maintenance free. Um, science from generals. More experience from combat. Happiness from barracks, stables and forages. But I need to unlock a lot of stuff for it. And at some point I'd prefer to go after, again, for rationalism obviously. Uh, then again it's not too far. Is any of this good? This is garbage. Culture... Oh, this is garbage. I guess I could try to get Forbidden Palace. I can also want this. <laughs> so hard. Life so hard. Culture for each unit uh, killed in combat. Okay, uh, so... Let's assume that Japan is not going to attack me, and this is a big assumption. In this case, I just need to... No, I should just stay here for now. So I should get like two units in my capital. Okay, uh, can you do this? Please? Should I buy some unit? No, I can't buy unit. So let's say I'm going to have like two units in my capital and two units here. Yeah, I just don't know what to do right now. It's yeah, I usually know what to do, but not right now. Okay, so this guy goes. Uh, where do I go? I guess you could go west. You go here, there's gonna be an extra one. I'm really weak right now and kinda big, so... Between being big and being weak, it's kinda... In Japan, maybe it's not going to attack me. as a chance. Because if Japan also attacks me, then I'm just like kinda screwed. 
I also am still screwed because I have no happiness right now. And this is always bad. So who can trade something? Nobody can trade anything. Nope, nobody can trade anything, so production focus all the cities again. And hope this is enough. So let's just take a quick look. In six turns I'm gonna get uh, one happiness, six turns two happiness. So six turns of really horrible happiness. And two turns for this. Two turns for this, except I have to defend him quite hard. Okay. Well, maybe something's gonna work, maybe it won't. So, decision, decision. Gold from kills. No, this seems amazing. Could I possibly build a Forbidden Palace? Let's take a, take a look at Forbidden Palace, maybe. Forbidden Palace. Uh, minus 10% on happiness from citizens in non occupied city. This is different than I remember. Then again, like, it still seems quite nice. Banking. Uh, where is banking? Can I get banking fast enough? And um, Might happen. Okay, so maybe go for iron working after that. It might happen. Like, I don't think many civilizations are gonna have this, so I can actually get this in my capital. Okay, let's go with this, just to unlock my uh, banking. Well, it was going too easy, so obviously I had to have a war. I don't think they can actually, like, win. Rome is really relatively well defended. Unless Japan attacks me as well, because if Japan also attacks me, I'm really screwed right now. Or could I buy a composite? Almost. Okay, so next turn I can actually buy a composite. So I could have five composites? Because I don't have any horses. I think a horse would be actually better than a composite, but... Yeah, this is gonna happen at some point. Uh, unless Ethiopia actually screws me here. Okay, okay. That's a plan. I will have five units in a few turns. So unless somebody else attacks me, I will be fine. Yeah, they all in the medieval era. I feel I'm super behind. I should just check the ranking, just how far behind am I? What is uh, oh no, medieval era, I'm almost in medieval era myself. So Legion, Heroic, Epic, Colossus, they actually want that. They want machinery. I kinda want that as well. I mean, that's a lot. Okay, let's do it like that. Choose production. <sighs> Granary finished. Uh, Antium. Okay, I'm just going to buy myself something. Okay, what do I have? Granary Aqueduct. Uh, yeah, production focus is fine. Mm, aqueduct is okay, I guess. Shrine is okay. Like... Those shrines, long term, they're gonna just really help me. But that's a long term thinking. Yeah, let's build a shrine. Uh, this is Egypt. Like, where the hell are they? Like, aren't they supposed to fight me or something? Like, they attacked me and nothing? Nothing here? I mean, like. They're not gonna attack Ravenna, they can't attack Kume. I guess they could at go against Antium. But in such case I can just move them relatively quickly. Like this road is really helping here. If I didn't have this road... I'm not sure what I would do. Okay, just stand here. Really not sure. What is this? Granary, yeah. Oh, I can, oh, okay, I see what I can build. I can build one more caravan. Uh, yeah, build a caravan after that shrine. Maybe before that shrine. So, my big assumption is that I'm not gonna get attacked by Japan. Because if I get attacked by Japan, <laughs> I'm really screwed. I can defend everything. I'll probably lose Ravenna if 
they attack me. Like, this is very poorly protected. <laughs> it's nice that I actually put on, like, a unit there, because, like, I don't have this... OMG, I can build a Great Wall! I can build an actual Great Wall. This changes everything. That is not even that expensive. Like, Great Wall would actually really help me. I mean, not forever, but like, by the time I we get to... What the Ballista does? Uh, sit unit... Uh, how strong is this? Actually, not that strong. Uh, I guess I could build one. No, I, it's, I have like zero normal units right now. Uh, I'm getting iron working in three turns. So maybe one ballista is fine. Or maybe it's not. No, let's let's not be crazy. Ballista, like, I just build a shrine. I will think about the next steps uh, later. <laughs> okay, this is feels very tense. Okay, so we could go here, build a farm. Hong Kong doesn't like me, unfortunately, but what can I do about this? Nothing whatsoever. Uh, yeah, just discover what's there. Alright. Yeah, just hope for the best in Ravenna, because that's the only thing I can do. This guy... And you don't have any special skills, so I guess just stand here and do nothing. And I'm gonna have two of them here. It seems to be going quite okay, actually. So I'm gonna have two units here. And two units here. And I can buy one more unit by for emergencies anywhere I want. Unless Japan attacks me or something like that, in which case I'm pretty screwed. Where the hell are they? Like, seriously, where are they? Would you like to... No. Like, obviously they agreed to attack you together, so they cannot for 10 turns, but... Eh. Alright. So, I could start building a road right now. And... That might make, like, Ravenna slightly defensible. Okay, this is Egypt. The hell? Seriously, the hell? Like, they attacked me and nothing. Like, nothing, just nothing. Like, I'm worried here and it's like, what the hell? I don't think they'll worry anybody, so this is probably barbarians. Yep, they're barbarians. Uh, can I get wrecked? I can very much get wrecked. Oh well. Okay. Well. I we'll have to do something about this in the future. So, Great Wall in 10 turns. <laughs> Building a Great Wall in the middle of a war would be quite nice. It's like purely of defensive, but still. Yeah. This guy, probably gonna die. Okay. Let's, let's guess if we can just wander around for a bit longer. Right, so you finish a shrine. You could build a uh, aqueduct. Mm, yeah, I need like a road like that, so. Or I could go and... Nah, let's build a road. Okay. So... So right route overview, trade was available. Uh, okay, any trade with Japan is gonna be two. Kume, Kyoto, Rome, Osaka. Um, 
and what? Rome, Osaka, or Kumek. Why? Oh, because it's a new one. Okay, that makes sense. I'm super confused. Okay, so um, Kume to Kyoto. So let's rebase. Rebase you to Kume. Yeah. Should be relatively safe. I think Japan is gonna just protect it somewhat. Uh, okay. Well, no idea what's going on there. Okay, those bastards are here. Um, could just shoot them twice. Like, I kinda want them over there, but then again... Those Ethiopians actually don't seem to be very interested in actually fighting. Okay, let's move you here. And those two heals are kinda protective, so unless they go this way... And if they do, I'm just gonna buy something fast. Uh, next turn. Right, iron working. So, I might... Okay, that's gonna be a lot of food. So after aqueduct, I want like some legionnaires. It's not amazing. It's definitely not amazing. Okay, so they just... They just left? Okay. Okay, there's more of them over there. So... I want you to go to... Kyoto? All of this is worth about as much, so I guess... I could go to Kyoto and then send second one to Osaka. It's more like for science than for anything else. Okay, uh, no idea where they are, so I guess I can stand here for now. Nobody, nobody. Okay, it's maybe not. Still eight turns to maybe get a great wall. I like being in the Wonder Game. Like, okay. Okay, this is Japan and I don't like this at all. Not at all. Not even the tiny bit. Oh, if they actually attacked- Oh, please, please, please attack those bastards! No! If I wasn't at war, I'd actually seriously consider attacking Japan right now. Okay, that's clear. If those bastards could please attack those, that'd be so amazing! Uh, okay, just stand here. Uh, that's Zulus. Like, should I attack Agaitka? No, I have two wars at once, so that's a pretty poor idea. Uh, Neapolis uh, Monument is fine, I guess. Choose Production, Ravenna Monument is also fine. What the hell? Where are they? Like, I don't feel like attacking with just two, two units and nothing else. But like, seriously, like, what the hell? Um, building anything in interesting? Colosseum, fine. No, no, nothing. All right. Uh, that should probably heal up. Or he's gonna die for no value. Like, there's still some space to explore here. Maybe there's like city state here. Like, it's a possibility. Okay, there's a bit more... Ah, fuck. So I lost the race for Great Wall. Oh well. I'm gonna try one for Forbidden Palace. Ah, disappointing, for sure. Don't really care about any of this stuff. Forum... Not much, but I mean... It's a start. Amphitheater. Like, all of this does something. Anyway, so with this massively disappointing result of losing the race for Great Wall, I think I'm just going to end this episode. So, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.